Now we go from a species that we're trying to reestablish in switchgrass to plants that we don't want around anymore in Kentucky. A silent invasion is going on within the Commonwealth and across the nation. A growing list of non-native plants not only threatens our natural environment, but can have serious consequences for America's lumber industry. As Mark Eklove reports research efforts by the UK College of Agriculture's Forestry Department are part of a national effort to control the spread of invasive plants. Parks and woodlands around Kentucky are under attack. The enemy is invasive plants like this dense mat of winter creeper. A growing list of other non-native plants have found ideal growing conditions in Kentucky, and they also threaten parks and woodlands throughout the eastern and central United States. Jeff Stringer, Billy Thomas, and John Cox from the UK College of Agriculture's Forestry Department have forged an alliance with federal, state, and local agencies to help carry out the task of stopping the spread of invasive plants. It's a battle Kentucky and others cannot afford to lose. Our wildlife contributes about $2 billion uh, to Kentucky. So allowing these invasive species to be prevalent uh, reduces our, our wildlife species, and that's going to have impact, whether it's uh, bird watching, reduction in songbirds, uh, because we've got bush honeysuckle that's replacing their, their, native, uh, their native foods and, uh, and, and all those things feed back and have big economic impact. Uh, timber, uh, a number of our invasive species can, can hurt timber um, and invasives can definitely take its toll uh, on our ability to compete globally. The current invasive plant control research is targeting pests like tree of heaven, winter creeper and bush honeysuckle. UK research is focused on testing different types of mechanical and chemical controls that are environmentally safe and cost effective. UK Extension Forester Billy Thomas says once the control measures have proven their effectiveness, it will take a concerted effort from both private and public landowners to check the advance of these invasive plants. Well certainly I think the first thing landowners are going to have to know is they're going to have to get a handle on what invasive species they have because the control techniques are going to vary depending on the species. This will, um, by knowing what you have, we can apply the most appropriate techniques to those. And it's going to take a commitment of time. Many of these invasive species we cannot just go one year and, and get rid of them. We're going to have to make a commitment to come back for at least a number of years and then periodic follow-ups on those just to make sure they're not spreading again. Landowners can get the latest identification and control information on invasive plants by visiting the UK College of Agriculture's Forestry Department website. County Extension agents and various federal and state forest service agencies are also an excellent source of information. I'm Mark Eklo reporting for Growing Kentucky. New control measures will continue to emerge from this research. Landowners can find all the latest information on the internet or by contacting their local county extension office or through agencies such as the U.S. Forest Service, State Fish and Wildlife, or the local Parks Department.